So there's these video games out there called Battle Simulators. I feel like I'm gonna check them out for the first time ever. But Tabs had an update which added a unit creator. We've created what is known as the best unit ever. And honestly, you may, this may come as a surprise to you, but he's not in fact the best unit ever. But let's go ahead and test him because <laughs> I don't know what the enemy army had, but uh, they're all dead because uh, needless to say, a horse banana man with fish hands and a bear paw or kittens mittens well they're a lot more powerful than you think they would be but one of my favorite things is amphibious invasions specifically the battles in the pacific and d-day in the atlantic of world war ii where america became a two-time world war champ so did england and technically so did france but americans were quite boisterous about it but in order to have these d-days well we're gonna have to have a World War II faction. So we've got to create our units and like, check this out. By adding all of the weapons from Totally Accurate Battlegrounds or Tab G, the Battle Royale game. Look at this, we've got a Browning automatic rifle. Look at this thing. It's got some, are those? Oh, that's the bipod on the top of it. It's got a 20 round magazine. This thing lays down the pain. And so that is gonna be the first weapon we're gonna be working with. Now, as far as clothes, well, we've gotta find ourselves, well, excuse me. <laughs> we are not gonna be the Ottomans. This is in Constantinople. Luckily for us, there is this ahem, World War section here. So we got gas masks, we've got the German helmet, we've got these little lieutenant hats, we got goggles. And the cool thing is we can change the color if we want. Oh, look at this helmet. This is kind of Vietnam era looking to me, but it could also work here. He's got like an ace of spades and some bullets in his helmet. So now we gotta work on the uniform. The flag jacket, it does look a little too Vietnam era, doesn't it? And we need a standard uniform, but I'm thinking what we're gonna have to do here is change the color to a more green. How about what color matches that helmet? Here we go, GI. Now he's, he's gonna need some pants. Sir, you need some pants, that isn't uniform. Look at that, it's looking nice. And, and definitely some combat boots. We don't want <laughs> Roman shoes. There we go. And look at that. This is pretty great. Now let's see. Is there anything else we want to add? Arms is normally just greaves and stuff. There's not too much other than that. We could add some facial hair if we want, but you know what? These GIs are well manicured. And as far as their stats, well, I'm thinking attack speed would go up because he's got an automatic weapon here. And it's a 30-06 round, so we're gonna up the damage as well. And he's gonna be named USA Bar for Browning Automatic Rifle. And that's a pretty good image right there. You can see that it's a BAR. Unit cost, 150. American Ingenuity. Now we're gonna need a new faction. This is American Olive Green GI <laughs> standard issue. Now for the icon, do we have any weapons? Or anything that says, hey, we're gonna be giving them the freedom. USA. All right, so we've got our first unit here and it's the BAR, we're gonna need a few more. So what if we, can we edit an existing unit? Now obviously we're gonna need a Lieutenant's M1A1 Thompson submachine gun with its little 30 round stick mag. And we're gonna need a new helmet. Now, Lieutenant, he, he doesn't use a chin strap. He uses his university education to guide him through battle. So we're gonna go to our greens here and where is our beautiful olive green? There it is. Now, unfortunately, our only real options here, you know, we could add, uh, he could hold pistols if he wanted. <laughs> Or, you know, it's some bongo drums to keep his soldiers in line, but I, I don't think that's appropriate either. You know what? Let's give him some grenades. Uh, <laughs> USA Lieutenant Dan. Now, his statistics, we're gonna down the damage, but up the attack speed. And we're gonna increase his hit points, because he is a enlisted officer. Now we're gonna need some grunts. So we got ourselves uh, the basic uniform that we've been rocking. Now, since he's grown, he's gonna have to carry everything on his back. And as far as the weapons concerned, I think there's an M1 Garand in here. Oh, dude. An M1911 for like a colonel or something would be really cool. Oh, and we've got a Luga. There it is, the Garand. All right, so we're gonna make this a two-handed rifle because that seems to be appropriate. 
And as far as your stats, well, you're the basic unit out here. So we're going to drop you down to 50 hit points. Attack speed is going to be standard because you've got a semi-automatic rifle. And now we're just going to add you to USA Faction. Now, I'd really love to have vehicles in here, but the unit creator is not at that level just yet. Now we need to lay down some heavy suppressing fire. Do we have any machine guns in here? There's mini guns. Ah, the M2 Browning. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's got a box mag for its belt fed 50 caliber machine gun rounds right on the side there. This thing is going to be some serious. Now, this thing's definitely a two hander. And now this guy's definitely going to have to be carrying extra rounds on him. Look at that. I, I want to add another one. Can I do another one? Like another round of machine guns on the other side? No, they stack. And this is really where it's going to make the difference. So he's going to have 100 hit points, but his attack speed is going to be 5.00. And the damage, this thing hits like a mule. So we're going to do 2x. And his cost is going to be a little more expensive than the rest of them. But I kind of want to see this guy in action. So let's go ahead and uh, just test him out real quick. Uh, I don't know who he's fighting or who's got these weird swords. Son, what? this is, this is not, <laughs> this is, brings a whole new, uh, idea to combat crawling. I want to, I want to see that again. So he immediately falls down by the weight of his weapon system and <laughs> he just slides like a very strange slippery snake. Now remember, this is in, um, this is on the beta testing branch for tabs. So, uh, you know, maybe things are still being worked on like the, <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking we need a grenadier though, don't we? You know what we could do is edit Lieutenant Dan to also throw grenades. I think this would be the key thing, right? So, grenade? All right, no grenade, bomb. He's got a bomb throw, okay, that would be good. And his special ability, if he is a lieutenant, he could do a bomb spin, but I'm thinking we're gonna have him be able to dodge some stuff. So he's definitely gonna have the backwards dodge. All right, Lieutenant Dan, you're gonna be throwing grenades too. But then we're gonna need an average grunt who could also throw grenades i think oh you know what we want is a ranger now let's see do we have any do we have any other like is there an m1a1 which is like the carbine variant i mean the closest thing is an m14 oh my gosh there's an mg42 in here as well a oh we need a bazooka okay <laughs> look at this guy yes and we could give him a vest, maybe. Yeah, you know what? You're carrying a bazooka. You got a, you got a little bit of a, a vest there. Now, the stats are going to be quite critical. I'm thinking we'll buff you to 100. You're not a grunt. Your attack speed is slow, but your damage is, like, really, really high. And now what we need to do is test you out. Let's see. Okay, you just wrecked those guys. I, it's always interesting. You, you see him from the front. Dude, see, this guy's great because he holds his bazooka up. And he doesn't fall over like the M2 Browning machine gunner. And I know we listed him as a light MG and then we gave him an M2 Browning, but you know what? Shh, don't tell anybody. Oh, I know what we need now. We need a medic. We need something to indicate he's a medic. <laughs> that could work. <laughs> See, he's got a medic bag on his back. All right, if we search medic, no. Heal? No. Doctor? A oh, plague doctor. <laughs> So look at this, uh, a medical hat. Here we go. You're a medic, but we're gonna need to give you a different weapon. We're not gonna have a uh, BAR for you. We're gonna give you a Colt 911, 1911. All right, now your abilities is really, there's gotta be healing, right? Because the priest has a heal. Movement, defensive, miscellaneous, attack. How is there not the healing ability? Well, that sucks. Oh, there it is, the priest staff, okay. So we're gonna give him a priest staff. <laughs> <laughs> now we gotta make sure we give you decent health so you can stay alive. You are a medic after all. Okay, I, I think we're ready to try to do some D-Day invasions here with our new World War II faction. Now, do we have everybody here? The medic, the bazooka, the light machine gunner, which is not a light machine gun, USA grunt, Lieutenant Dan and the BAR. And so what we're gonna then need to do is find a map that gives us a lot of water option. And honestly, the pirate one kind of makes the most sense for now. Just because, you know, you could have them invading off of these boats here. 
and storming the beach. But once we have a map creator, and especially if we could have scripted stuff like, say, some Higgins boats hitting the beach and some scripted machine gun fire from some pillboxes, you could really imagine how this could be far more epic than what it is. But what we need to do here is we're going to need to edit the line. Now, America is going to be, you know what? We're going to have them be the blues. So I think the formation we want to have is, oh, the grunts are at $240. <laughs> I need to reprice them. All right, so here they are hitting the beach. Dude, these guys look epic. Look at this, man. So we've got a bunch of grunts with their BARs. We've got one support bazooka, a browning automatic rifle, the medic here sitting with Lieutenant Dan. And then we've got one Maud Deuce, aka the M2 Browning. And they're going to be storing the beach. Well, as the first wave hits the beach, who's going to be defending it? Well, we've got some cannons who are going to be the uh, pack anti-tank guns and heavy artillery that the Germans are supposed to have. We've got some Mauser Car 98s and some snipers back here, and we can work on a German faction if you guys would like to see more World War II battles here in tabs. So here we go. We're going to be rocking this in slow motion. I want to see just how far this wave gets. In fact, if they can actually take the beach, but this is some pretty impressive defensive weaponry. These are units we're already very familiar with in tabs. We know their potential. We know their damage. Those musketeers, the dead eyes, like, uh, this is going to be problematic. Oh, look at that cannonball just wrecking him. Okay. So that's like, oh no, Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan is down. We didn't even get it. Oh no, the medic is still alive. And the, the grunts did not do well. Okay. I think what we might need to do is have some grunts storming off of the boats. These are going to be our Higgins boats. So they just hit the beach. These are the rangers that paratrooped in. <laughs> Even though they're actually on the beach, they should be probably behind. But you know what? This is doing a lot better. These grunts are storming the enemy position, and that was way too easy. Okay, so if we get rid of one of these, and we have maybe just a few more grunts on the beach, we'll have another line. And then I'm thinking maybe one more medic mixed in there. And I don't think the medic's going to be able to do much because grunts have such little health. Most of the units die. They, they don't even get the option to be healed, right? The medic priests aren't doing anything, but look at this, man. We're storming the beach. All right, big dog. Use that mod deuce. Oh, he didn't even get to do it. Okay, I'm kind of curious. I want to use this big heavy machine gun real quick so <laughs> we're, we're using it so much it's like it's pulling us back sorry about the friendly fire it's a training accident dude <laughs> but look at this dude man storm the beaches of normandy soldier whoa i just realized that there's like some grog over here maybe from winning this battle our guys can go have some extra rations of rum what is this the british navy okay so we took that beach I'm kind of curious, though, who's going to win, a Bazooka Boy or Lieutenant Dan? I'm kind of curious to see who's the most powerful unit here. <laughs> you take <laughs> you take a Bazooka around to the chest, you're going to have a bad time. Okay, what about the BAR? I think, I think the Bazooka just has the better range. So, generally speaking, he usually gets the first shot. Oh, wait a minute. Red Team won. Hey, the BAR won that time. So, let's have a couple grunts charging up. Oh, okay. They've got really good range. <laughs> What if, uh, you know, our World War II faction here had to fight some armies of darkness? I'm kind of curious to see how they're going to deal with... Wow. Okay, BARs are very, very effective. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Needless to say, when you're all ranged units up against uh, some units that have very short range or no range at all, you're going to have a good time. Okay, so let's see. What if we added some heavy artillery? Like, what if the Germans, you know, the bad guys... Uh, uh, are we the baddies? They, you know, got those nazi zombies out there. And we added some firepower of their own. Dang. A BAR firing line is really, really awesome. And for some reason, the BAR needs to get real close. But M1 Garands rip through skeletons. Like, all right, we're going to add some vampires to mix things up. Just to see if our brave squad of American heroes here. Can they? Oh my god, they shot the... Whoa. Oh, you know what? That was friendly fire from a bazooka, wasn't it? I think that may have been friendly fire from a bazooka. But look, look at Lieutenant Dan chucking grenades, using his Thompson here. He's not going to give up. Oh, okay, he's going to give up if he dies, though. <laughs> and then there's this guy. I'm a flipper little fnag. Would you shoot your dang gun? Like, what is the issue with you? I can't figure it out. I think if you want it done right, you got to do it yourself. So this is clearly a player controlled unit. Guys, get out of the way. Oh, but dude, I love this. Uh-oh. Incoming catapult. Oh, we took out the boss. 
I love the sound effects. I may have just taken out the medic, but please don't put that on my performance record. But look at that, dude. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we've been able to defeat these guys and the price difference, even though my guys may not be priced appropriately, uh, we were still able to take these out. We're gonna add a few more Reapers and you know what, just for fun. I wanna see if they can defeat the Dark Peasant. This squad versus the Dark Peasant. Now, I'm thinking what we're gonna need to do is hit him with a bazooka. Oh gosh. All right, fire! Did we do anything? Oh no, he blocks all incoming range projectiles. Okay, so needless to say, defeating the Dark Peasants can be very difficult. We need to go to the epic planes of battle here on the ancient sandbox. And now we're just gonna see if, I'm gonna put a few machine guns. I don't know if these guys are gonna fire very well. I'm gonna do a bunch of bazookas because hopefully that overwhelms the shield mechanism. I'm not sure. A bunch of BARs, a few lieutenants here to guard them. Maybe grenades will help. We need some heavy artillery, a bunch of medics, and then so many grunts. All right, let's see. Is, are they hitting him? I'm not seeing any of these projectiles getting in there. Oh no, man. <laughs> I don't know, like, how do you actually kill the Dark Peasant? Like, the Super Peasant King, you need to have melee units, and we just don't. So, World War II faction, we've done D-Day, we've had them fight the Dark Peasant, which, still, invincible. I think we're gonna need to handcraft a unit. We've tried before, but if you guys have any suggestions, and you guys want to see more tabs, let me know by pulling the trigger on that like button. But if you have some, uh, units, custom units we could try, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.